welcome or welcome back to the channel. I'm Tequila B with You Love Designs and today we are on episode number five of hashtag sewing menswear 2023. Now if you've been enjoying this series so far go ahead and hit that like button subscribe if you haven't already drop me a comment and share this video with a friend. Today's video we are focusing on number one 005 the gosling pattern by mimi g style this pattern is described as a men's button-up shirt and it has a lot of style and design options it was a challenge for me as there are some techniques and things that i hadn't worked with before but i think i got the job done now this pattern does have nine pattern pieces you have your back your front your front yoke your front button band your sleeve your sleeve tab, the upper collar, collar stand, and your patch pocket. The supplies you'll need for this pattern is two to three yards of fabric, about a yard of interfacing, and 11 one half inch buttons, and oh yeah, your matching thread, of course. Suggested fabrics for this pattern is cotton, poly cotton, rayon cotton, bamboo cotton mixes, linen linen types chambray and tinsels so in this pattern i sewed a size small and the finished chest measurements for a size small is 43 and 1 8 inches the extra small probably would have also fit and its finished measurements were 41 and 1 8 inches but i decided to lean on the side of ease and go ahead and make that size small to make sure that it fit that's perfect the fabric that i use for this t-shirt is a special fabric and i'm not sure if i'll be able to find it again at the um, store that i go to which is fabricopia and i absolutely love that store but i didn't want a chance um having the shirt too small and then i don't have the fabric or can't get the fabric anymore so I erred on the side of caution and I went ahead and sewed the size small. Now, if you've sewn a button up shirt or a t shirt before, you kind of know your basic instructions. The instructions were fairly simple, and I will say that this pattern is exclusive to Sewed Academy students. So, if you are not already a Sewed Academy student and you're interested in sewing or getting your hands on some of these patterns or brushing up on any of your skills, definitely check out my link in the description box below i will get a small commission but that is nothing compared to the skills and information that you will learn in the sewed academy you can take the first five courses free without entering any credit card information you can take these courses at your own pace and counsel at any time sounds good check it out so again, if you've sewn a button-up shirt or a t-shirt before, your basic construction is kind of the same. But this pattern is not your basic t-shirt pattern. It does have a yoke, which is the first time I've sewn a button-up shirt with the yoke. It is the first time I've actually used the burrito method to put anything together. And it did seem easy, but at first I was like, okay, is this, am I doing this right? Because I'm in my head it didn't look like it was right but i did it and it came out great i also added pleats on the back yoke of the pattern and it's not the first time that i've done pleats but i think it's the first time that i've actually done it correctly so <laughs> next you move into constructing your collar pieces and the collar stand and that was something new to me but I could see the design really starting to take shape and come together, and that excited me. Um, after that, you work on your sleeve tabs and putting those buttonholes or snaps, whichever you choose. I did choose to do the buttonholes because I hadn't used snaps before and I wasn't ready to work on a new skill yet. Something I will do in the future, but not right now. Then you have your front button band which will go on each side of the t-shirt so that you can make your buttonholes and add on your buttons. Now, a little takeaway for this pattern, or I guess just a little outside information, is that there is no 
guide for your buttons and buttonholes. So I did find that a little off-putting, nor is there a guide on the actual sleeve of the shirt where your tab should go, but they do tell you how to um, measure where the tab will go, and that's one thing. But the button that goes on the outside, you just kind of have to play around with it and however the shirt is going to be worn, pull that tab up and then mark where you want to put your button at. So, uh, that was a little off-putting to me as well <laughs> because I would like a little more guidance with that. Um, same thing for the front buttons and buttonholes. On that pattern piece, no guidelines for where your buttons go or where your buttonholes go. So I was like, well, how do I know where they go? I guess I could just, now, so the pattern says you need 11 half inch buttons. I did use half inch buttons, but I was like, I mean, you know, everybody's not a math person. So of course I could have measured the length of my button band and then divided that into 11 buttons and just spaced it out. But I just felt like that was too much work. So what I did was I took a button up t-shirt from my husband's closet and I just lined that up. I lined up each side of the shirt with the uh, button side and then the buttonhole side and I just used that to mark off everything. So I think I only ended up using six or seven buttons. I ended up not putting the button on the collar piece just because, I don't know, the way it was on my husband's t-shirt, it was too close to the edge on the way it was on my husband's button-up shirt, it was too close to the edge on this t-shirt. So that part really didn't work out for me. So that's the only thing, I guess, kind of negative, but not really that I can say about this pattern is that there's no real guideline for the buttons and buttonholes. So you may have to do some math or just choose where you want to put them or use another button-up shirt that you have on you. This pattern is sewn with 3 eighths of an inch seam allowance all the way through and the hemline is one of those curved hemlines that I think is just really nice and it turned out very well. The only other issue I had was on me. It was a user error. Um, <laughs> when I started to cut out the um, either the front or the back piece, I can't remember which one at this time, but when I started to cut out that pattern piece, I had my fabric laid down incorrectly I had it with the um, wrong side spacing and I cut it that way so that was a waste of fabric and I was so mad at myself because I intended to make a matching garment for myself with the remainder of the fabric but now I'm not going to be able to do that just because I don't have enough fabric now um, I can probably incorporate some of those um, scraps into into the garment some kind of way. I don't want to give you, I'm trying not to give you too much information because <laughs> I want you to be surprised when you see it. But um, I can probably incorporate scrap pieces of that fabric into the garment. So I want to work on that. I'm definitely not throwing it away because like I said, I may not be able to get my hands on this fabric again, but I enjoyed sewing this button up shirt. My husband loved it. He looked great in it. And I think he really did the shirt justice, you know? So I know you are dying to see photos and I will not keep you waiting. Again, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, drop me a comment and share this video with a friend. Until next time, see it, make it, slay it, and enjoy these photos.